Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I'm sharing with you what I'm calling the ultimate guide to free TV. I'm going to be covering about eight and a half different things in this video, all geared towards getting free TV, and that includes your local TV channels, which I'll cover in this video. So if you watch this to the end and you combine all the things I teach you today, you're gonna to be well on your way to never having to pay a cable bill again. You really won't even miss it. One more thing I wanna mention before we get started is to check the description box below because I'm gonna put a bunch of links down there all related to this video, so make sure to check down there if you think you need more help. Okay, that's all I needed to say. We're gonna get started. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I want to cover in this video is to get your hands on a streaming device. If you don't know what I mean by that and you're a complete beginner to this stuff, it is just one of those little streaming boxes that connect to your internet and plug into your TV. Pretty much turns your TV into a smart TV if it's not already. Out of all of them, I would recommend a Fire Stick or a Fire TV, and also the Nvidia Shield TV is probably the best. So if you don't have one of these devices, check the description box, I'll list a bunch of them that I recommend. Alright, so the second thing I want to talk about in this video is an app called Pluto TV. It's a totally free app, you can get it right on the app store of your streaming devices. It's also available on your smartphones, tablets, and computers. It's a totally free service that offers a whole bunch of live TV channels. It even has stuff like MTV and Comedy Central and Spike and a few popular mainstream news stations. They don't sponsor me or anything, I'm actually recommending this app because it's super useful and it's a must have if you're considering cutting out your cable bill. So just download this on the device you want to watch it on and you're good to go. Okay, so the third thing I'm talking about is TV antennas. If you don't know what a TV antenna is, they're pretty much devices that are receivers for over-the-air signals that are broadcasting from your local TV stations. With an antenna, you can actually pick them up for free, no monthly cost, and be able to watch live TV. So if you want more information on TV antennas, I have a video from a few years back that I made. It's going to be linked below where I walk you through the whole setup of how to set up your TV antenna. Real quick for this tip, I forgot to mention that if you do get a TV antenna and you want a DVR to record your shows, Amazon came out with something called the Fire TV Recast. I'll link it below. And it's a device that you can hook your TV antenna up to. It's kind of expensive, but it's only a one-time charge, and I figured it would be worth mentioning. I'll also leave a few links below for some of the antennas I recommend. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is there's a few other apps that are totally free that you can just download right on your app store. Um, one of them is called Tubi TV. You can get that on the Fire Stick. Just search up T-U-B-I. It's pretty much like an on-demand service or like a free version of Netflix. So you have a bunch of movies and shows that are all laid out and you can pick whatever you want to watch. There's another service called Sony Crackle that's totally free once again. And it also has a bunch of movies and shows that you can pick from. I thought those apps were going to be worth mentioning so, so feel free to go download those. They'll be a big help when you're looking for something to watch. Okay, so the next thing I'm covering is a service called Yahoo View. And I just learned about this recently, but surprisingly, Yahoo offers a bunch of TV shows, popular ones, for free. You'll be able to watch things like America's Got Talent, Family Guy, I think's on there, South Park, American Ninja Warrior. There's actually a lot of mainstream TV shows that you'll recognize. So the big con to this one is it's only available on their website. So I haven't found a way of actually getting it on like a streaming device like the Fire Stick, but you'll be free to watch it on any computer that you have by just going to the website. And if you wanted to watch it on your TV, you could always plug your laptop or computer into your TV with the HDMI cable. But definitely a service worth mentioning. It has a lot of stuff on there for free. Okay, the next thing I'm talking about is sideloading apps. If you don't know what that means, it means we're basically downloading apps that aren't on the regular app store. If you ever heard of things like Kodi or Terrarium TV or Showbox and things like that, these are apps that are usually sideloaded onto your streaming devices that allow you to watch pretty much any show or movie that you can think of. You just search it up. If there's a stream available anywhere on the internet, it looks through everything and it gives you the best stream available. If you want to learn how to do this, it's not that complicated. It, it sounds complicated, but I'll have a video in the description. The one that works the best right now is something called Cinema HD or Cinema APK, and that's the one that I use personally since Terrarium TV and some of the other popular ones aren't really working right now. That's the thing with these, they're not really reliable. Some will shut down, some new ones will show up. It's constantly changing. 
This is a huge help to anybody that wants to cut the cable. Next up, I recommend using YouTube to its fullest potential. You can get the app on your streaming devices, you can use it on your computer, you can use it on your phones. Just make sure you're using it to its full potential. YouTube has tons of stuff on there, you just have to find it. So if you're in the mood for comedy stand-up shows, just look up comedy stand-up. If you're in the mood for documentaries, you could just look up documentaries and see what you find. When I'm bored and I'm looking for something to watch, I mainly spend time on YouTube because there's a lot of entertainment on there and it's all for free and very little ads. Usually like one ad before the video starts. And yeah, the amount of value you get out of YouTube is definitely worth the free price tag. Okay, so I also want to talk about taking advantage of free trials. So Netflix has free trials. Hulu has a free trial, Amazon Prime has a free trial, all these different streaming services usually have free trials. So if you just sign up for them, use the free trial, and then cancel, if you don't like it, 30 days of free streaming. So what you could do is just start with Netflix, get the 30 day trial, cancel it if you don't want it, then do Hulu for 30 days, and so on. I'll have a link to all the different free trials that I found in the description. The last thing I want to throw in here is Technically not free, but if you have an Amazon Prime account that you already pay for for the two-day free shipping and stuff like that, remember that it includes Amazon Prime Video for free. But it's definitely worth mentioning because I know a lot of people sign up for Amazon Prime, but they don't know that the Amazon Prime Video comes for free. So definitely take advantage of that. It's what you're paying for. And Amazon Prime is pretty much like a Netflix with a bunch of different movies and shows you can watch. Alright, so that's all I have for you for this video. Please, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like below. It helps me out. Feel free to comment and share this video with somebody who might need it. My name is David. I will see you guys next time.